first let's talk about basic front headlock position. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm going to talk about my preference. I like to control the chin here. I like to control the chin. I find that if I can control the chin, I have really strong control over the head. As we know, where the head goes, the body must follow. I'm going to control the chin. Then, my goal is to pull this elbow away from Mark's body. Mark wants his elbows always tight, always tight to his body. So he can't attack under the, he can't attack his arm. So I want to pull this away. I'm going to pull the elbow away and up. Go to the other side. Here. When I have the head control, my elbow has to, like I said, I want to pull Mark's elbow away. I want to keep my elbow tight to the body. So I'm going to keep my elbow tight to my body. Not out, if it's out, mark the duck. So stay tight. I'm using my chest to cover Mark's head. I'm using my other hand to control this elbow. One little key here. This is the pocket. I want my shoulder in the pocket. So we have a tendency when we get this front headlock to get too high over here. And I'm not really, uh, my weight isn't well, well, uh, isn't attacking Mark very well. First, right? Because my chest is all across his whole back. Instead, what I want to see is just the shoulder in the pocket. So we have just all of our weight in one tiny focal point. Right here. Right on the spot. Cool. Okay, so we got to our strong front headlock position. Now we're going to talk about a couple finishes, a couple attacks from here. My favorite option is to bring my opponent to the mat. I think that's the most, that's the highest percentage. That's where we're really going to score the most of our points and give up the few takedowns off of our attempts is if we can bring Mark to the mat first. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Once I have him extended in control, I want to sprawl my legs back, pull on his head, and bring him to the mat. Boom. Now what you have to realize is sometimes this isn't going to uh, come from just one pull. Sometimes i got to do multiple pulls to bring Mark down. So Mark, give me some resistance here. I have the front headlock. It's not coming down. It's not coming down. Third time. Still, he's a little high here. So I'm going to pull again. That's where I want to be. I want to get Mark's elbow on the mat. Not just his hands, right? Get, get him all the way down to the elbow. So his weight's coming forward. It's very hard for him to counter or to reattack. Now I'm just staying on my knee right now for demonstration purposes. If I'm going live here, I'm staying off my knee and putting a lot of pressure on Mark. Uh -huh.